What up, mother Watch this video and don't be a bitch. All right, let's go. Welcome back to JDM Legends presented by Turn 14 Distribution. Today is a monumental day. That's right, everyone. It is the big one. We are here at Toronto Motorsports Park. We're going to see which one's faster and maybe declare a winner. Is there any losers in a battle like this? Not though? like this. I don't though. think so. pause here for a second and appreciate the fact that we have an R34 GTR and what is ultimately I think the best Supra ever made here at the racetrack DP. Full call I, I feel out pretty fortunate. This 890 is... guys. It, it is a fortunate thing for sure. These are truly JDM legends and if it wasn't so windy out I'd be showing you my JDM legends t-shirt. We'll, we'll sneak that in at the end everybody but uh, yeah this is a very special day and it's it's been a while coming so we're pretty pumped on this. It is. It's gonna be amazing. Um, if you guys are interested in the mods done to these vehicles, certainly go watch the video series because I know we're going to get a ton of questions. What's done? We're not going to go over every single mod done to these cars. What you need to know is this is a, a twin turbo setup car. It makes 450 to the wheel, 325 foot pounds of torque. And this one out of a cute little 2.6 liter, big old three liter over here makes 500 and 500 basically yeah. on pump gas, single turbo, on the smaller G30 turbo, yeah. the response monster setup. Yeah. Go back and watch the response sponsor build because you'll understand why we're calling it that if you go and watch it and and this was really just your like homage to twin turbo purity yes, wasn't it yes yes as far as the suspension goes we're both on kw coilovers yep. we're both on yokohama ao 52 yes 200 treadwire stickies 265 35 85 all around 18 sorry you're on stock brakes with good pads i am on stop techs because i'm a baller like that so that's the basic rundown, isn't it? It is, it is. So before we get into doing roll races, I don't think doing drag races from a stop would be even worthwhile because we all know what's gonna happen. Dave's gonna roast the tires, I'm just gonna launch away and you'll never catch me. So we'll do, we're gonna do roll races, but uh, <laughs> before we do that, I figured, you know what, why don't we do like a rev off sure. competition Sound and you guys off? can yeah, yeah, yeah. post in the comments, do you like the note of the RB. This is a full titanium Tomei system, uh, three and a half inches. It's very, very loud, very crisp. And, uh, and you've, not catted. And not catted, yes, yes. I am catted with a HKS high power exhaust system. It kind of goes up and down in sizes. It's yeah, like between three, three and a half, half to four, four inch. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, not as rowdy as that titanium system, but I think uh, a more mature sound overall, as you may agree or disagree in the comment section. staging up here for our first roll race and uh, I'm gonna put it in second gear and when we get to those green pylons up there Pete's gonna match my speed and when we get to the green pylons we're gonna hit it so uh, here we go you ready Pete all right uh -uh. I missed third gear <laughs> all right well Welcome to right-hand drive life and uh, no seat time to kind of acclimatize to, acclimatize to the shifting with the left-hand thing and then having never used a Getrag in this car, in this configuration, I mean, all the excuses coming at you at once, but it's the reality of building these kinds of cars and just not having had an opportunity to really get out and drive them. Wow, 
it's close. Very close. And we're really trying to get these cars up to speed here. Wowzers! It takes all my brain power to drive this car because it's it's right hand drive, so I'm not speaking much, guys. I apologize, but oh wow, this car sounds incredible. It really, really does. And whew, I think we dusted them there. that time I I think I just used more RPM frankly ah the shift knob come on what happened there damn it man the shift knob spun on me come on while I was trying to grab a gear uh that was a better race too. Jesus, this thing's like, it's right, look at this, come on, it's right in the middle. All right, it's tiebreaker time. Let's see who gets it. Pete says he uh, kind of struggled with the shift a bit there, so here we go. dead heat that is a dead heat wow so close oh my god man this car feels like it's got the top end on him wow Well, PT, that was uh, a Surprising. lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I thought I would take you with an extra 175 foot-pounds of torque, but I guess with roll racing, torque isn't as big a factor. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I would say the gearing, mm -hmm. I, I guess, is, yes. is the big equalizer yes. here. The 411 gears that I have in this car. Yeah. Um, More RPM. Dude, and you're it's, still shifting sooner than me. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, it, yeah. it was incredible. I thought I was, you're going to get me by, like, a car or two. I thought so. And it was almost the opposite. Yeah. yeah. I had that one good run, but you had a trouble on that shift, Yeah, right? man, we had both. It was like a calamity of errors, but that's what you come to expect with two noobs driving right-hand drive cars, you know, in yes. the... In the Almost the 500 horsepower. just does not yeah. feel good. No, it doesn't. But uh, it really hey, doesn't. it is what it is, so, right? Yeah. We, we brought right-hand drive cars to the racetrack. We're going to look that's a little, right. a that's little right. slow with so. the shifting. But I feel like the Supra, if you put like a Super Ninja in both cars, the Supra would probably take it by a half car Maybe. length. Maybe, yeah. I feel like it's got that top end to, to pull. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just yeah. not shifting quick enough, and I'm, sh I'm short shifting a lot, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but man, I'm really impressed how quick the GTR is. is. Yeah, yeah. Those I'm, short, I'm short gears are for sure. money well for spent. Sure. And time well I find spent. that the twin turbos on this car, they're on instantly. So even between shifts, yeah. where like the single, there's always a little bit of that leg. Yeah. I don't know if you experienced not that. Really? But, not really. Yeah. Only maybe when I'm in second gear. And on that last run, I kind of jumped too far and had to wait for you. Okay. So I was kind of like out of the the right power band for, right, that, for right, that last yeah, run. Yeah. So it was just a calamity of errors. But, yeah, yeah. but uh, no, I. The Supra is very responsive, but I'm super impressed how responsive the GTR is because everyone was like, oh, gonna it's going to so be a lag laggy. monster yeah, yeah. with those. But when you're running it at 5,000 RPM, that's the beauty of it, yeah. right? So, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. We've settled absolutely nothing. <laughs> These cars are very closely matched. <laughs> yeah. We both suck at driving right-hand drive. Let's move on to the road course. Just getting ready to do some hot laps in the Supra here, and we are going with a new lap timer because our old one died on us, and we thought opportunity to test out a system we never used before. So this is a Racebox Pro. And as you can see, it has a built-in display here. And the beauty of this system is, A, it has a very high hertz rate, 
So it'll sample between like 10 and 20 hertz. So you're getting a positional data that's very, very accurate. So your lap times will be very accurate. And it also has a drag meter or drag mode, which uh, most lap timers we've tried don't have, or if they do have it, it's not very accurate. This one, however, is has such a great sampling rate that it gives you very good 60 foot time, quarter mile time, eighth mile time, all that kind of stuff. And they've been kind enough to not only send us this unit, but to give you guys a discount code. So if you use Speed Academy 5 for the rest of this month, October, you'll get 5% off. And then starting in November, we get a 10% off code, which is Speed Academy 10. I have no idea how how early to break here, but we'll just put it in here and see how she does. Oh man, it's sliding a little in turn one. That was sloppy guys, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie, but man it is a rocket ship. Struggling a bit on the 4-3 downshift there just because I don't really know where third gear lives yet, but Man, it's got good grip around there. Jeez, guys. Excellent front grip. I thought she'd be a little understeery, but so far, she feels good. Third gear is very usable. Like, I don't even think I need to go down to second gear here, because look at this. I'm just sliding out here. Man, down into here. I think I can just use third gear. Yep. Uh, I mean, this is sloppy stuff, guys, but the car is surprisingly capable around a road course. I know people like to talk about these Supras being, you know, big, heavy, slow GT cars that aren't well suited to the racetrack, but it feels good. And water temps are already up to 105 Celsius. Jeez, that is about the limit of where I'm willing to go on water temps, guys. Oh yeah, she's feisty. Apex because I was fighting with third gear. <laughs> Man, these stop techs are serious, guys. I do have a lot of stopping power with this setup. Should go down to second gear there. It's just a little bit slow to. That's my best attempt, guys. So guys, you are about to watch a video clip sans this GoPro because of course it decided to crap out on us while I was uh, doing my hot laps and it failed at the worst possible time because we had, uh, as you guys will see, a bit of an issue and it just turned off. So anyways, enjoy this clip I, I we do apologize i apologize that we don't have this forward facing camera which is kind of like the the best one but that's gopro life for you i i freaking hate these cameras they're constantly buggy they just they work and then they don't they turn themselves off and you lose all your footage and in this type of situation you know i'm gonna if, go back and do a hot lap which we will cut to after that whole incident and we'll uh we'll see how it goes here so Wow. Oh, so he almost missed, almost missed four 
up there. Oh god, I'm slowing down so much. This is uh, this is gonna be a, a joke of a lap. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll learn how to drive the car, but oh, the gearing is phenomenal. You can heel toe shift pretty nicely. good well oh and my camera just died sakes. well uh, that did not sound good so let's have let's jump out here and have a look something ah oh, damn it damn it what happened? just shut off there's a, a, a winding noise and then it just shut off was it Oh, f I bet you the motor went then. The coolant, everything's f like the temperatures look fine. Yeah. Well, let's see if she starts up. There's nothing underneath it. You can smell something's burnt up though. I have no smell. Man, I think, and my clutch was starting to get pretty bad. Oh, now the temperature is hot. Well, the temperature will be hot from sitting. I think... idea man it just like shut down halfway through the run weird it, it's it did not like something is there like safety set up or something no no that definitely wasn't a safety it made a weird noise okay. seems to be running fine though like coolant and oil temperatures are all fine weird so huh okay well yeah Brakes are phenomenal on this car.
everything seems to be back to normal again, which is really weird. So puzzling that this car failed out on me and now it seems to be running totally fine again. And the water temperatures, everything seems to be fine. Wow. This thing is an animal. Oh, there it goes again. I hear it again. Is that the, oh, I think my power steering, it's my power steering guys. It's the power steering belt. That's, that's a sigh of relief. At the same time, kind of annoying that it's, it is the power steering. Oh, wow. So I'm just gonna pull in here real quick. Let's double check to make sure that the power steering has fluid. So we're either, we either don't have power steering fluid okay. or it's boiling the power steering or something. I can hear it, it happened again. Okay. But this time I caught it and I could feel the steering was getting heavy. Oh, so, I can hear it now. Wow, that's the turbo still winding down, but we have a rag here. Yeah, I'll grab you a shot. Of Let's check uh, that real quick. I mean, it's. I mean, it is close to the turbos, but it's not like. It's not, and it's not like full, full. Yeah. But it's not. But it's not like empty. No. Well, PT, you survived. Uh, we'll give you that much. <laughs> it got exciting there for a minute. You know, coming into this, I I was so confident. I was like the GTR. Is, is and still in my opinion is a superior track car. I was just about to say that on camera. I was like, it just is, is such a better track car. But then I forgot that it is a Nissan mm -hmm. after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the Toyota reliability. That's it. To is finish first, first you must finish, PT. It's always there and the damn Nissan. First of all, the shift knob. Yes. Like I, I went with the OEM shift knob thinking that was the way to go, but for whatever reason, it just kept spinning off halfway through. Need just, some ah, red Loctite on there. It threw me it off right away. Yeah. And then the, the power steering. Like why, 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 why power steering? Oh, yeah. And so, as far as the Supra goes, a lot of people out there like to talk about this being a big heavy GT car, but let me tell you on the racetrack, it's really, really good. Yeah. It has amazing steering feel. These StopTech brakes are phenomenal. The car feels really well balanced. You can slide it around. Probably responsive. It's very responsive. The, the good news is the Supra turned a surprisingly respectable lap time. I did a best of 119.82, which is faster than we ever went in the AS2000. It's on par with what I did in a That's bone stock A90. Really good. The same thing I did in like a C7 Grand Sport. So like a 25 year old car keeping up with brand new sports cars. I think it was pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Considering the hammerhead who was driving yeah. was given up in a second or two just not I'm knowing how to shift. I'm sure. Like you so, guys, and, and we should preface that, like these lap times are just going to be atrocious, they're atrocious right? Yeah. From if, This if car we, could probably do like a one if we spend, or yeah, something. Yeah, if we spent a bunch of time developing it, it would yeah. be different, but yeah. But wow, it is a proper driver's car. It's a real sports car. And I, I really love the chassis. It feels very yeah. responsive. It doesn't feel heavy. doesn't want to understeer. It's just a hoot. Like I That's can slide awesome. it around, steer it with a throttle. All the stuff you could do in the FRS, you can do in this, just with a lot more power. Like, did I even get one full clean lap out there? I don't know that you did, because your, your lap times are, are certainly suggesting otherwise. Your best lap was a 122.43. Oh, geez, yeah, yeah. So, a lot of time left. Yeah. And yeah. from watching at trackside, I felt like you never did one full hot lap without either that drama happening, <laughs> or uh, I think you kind of like missed or slow shifted up the back straight Yeah, lines. there's a couple. Well, the, yeah, the shift anyways. That's, yeah. 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 There, there's problems, there's there were, problems. There was some so. drama there. So not really, I think, a representative lap time in that car, but. No. I mean, it's got, it's, and here, here's the thing with this car. It has so much potential. Uh, I was just, I was driving it like a rear wheel drive car almost too. I yeah. wasn't on the throttle early. Like mm -hmm. this thing wants to rotate. Does I could it? feel like, honestly, if this was a $40,000 car that yeah. we could just develop into a tr pure track car, it would on. be amazing, yeah. man. It like, sounds amazing. It looks amazing. I can understand the idea and the concept of like wanting this as a track car because it is 
it's it's friggin' amazing. Yeah. It just it has everything you want. Um, the short you know, gearing too. I mean, everything. Yeah. Listening to how much you have to shift versus how little yeah. I had to shift in yeah. this was dramatically yeah. different. It's just a shame. Like now they're they're collector cars, no, they're man. investment pieces, which you wanna... really really sucks. At one point, I, you know, when I had that uh, power steering failure, I thought, oh my god, if this motor's blown, here we go. This is exactly what I was worried about. You yeah. know, so it's only fifty but, grand for a new motor and gearbox. Yeah, no, big no, no, no big deal. No big deal. No big deal at all. That is the problem. Jump which uh, may be why we should just build cheap. Honda's you're right, TP. You're right. This whole JDM Legends thing, <laughs> maybe right. it's uh, maybe it's overrated. I don't it's, know. It's a sign that we should just build cars that we can abuse and and continue to drive and not worry about blowing up, uh, right? Because then you can really push hard. I so. do want to show you guys one thing though. If I can get this off my hoodie, I'm gonna bust out the shirt. It's uh, we could even maybe call this a victory lap. Everybody, is that well, what's happening here? Technically, DP, who who won here? Did did the well? I mean, on lap Supra, times. Or, or, or the GTR. I mean, we're tied. The GTR was the the drag race. Oh, winner. was it? He's declaring the GTR. The oh, drag race I was ever, I was ahead I mean, every time. I was ahead Indian. every time. If, if from your perspective, you might have been, but from where I was, oh. it looked like it was a tie. But anyway, the uh, the the road course <laughs> certainly went to the Supra. We'll give PT the the roll the races. D the DNF on we'll the, the, the roll races, course, but so, the DNF uh, might hurt them in the yeah, overall standings. Yeah, yeah, so. Do we declare a winner or a loser? I, I, I don't think. Why don't we you do. guys just post in the comments? Let us know. I mean, both are winners, honestly. Yes, yes. I, I, if you own a Supra or if you own a GTR, you're a winner. You are really yes, because yes. the driving experience on these cars is phenomenal. It is just pure JDM goodness. Like the, the era of these cars, we'll never see a, a, another golden era. And no, I, you're right. You know, and I understand why they command these prices is because this driving experience truly is special. It is special, yeah, and uh, I should just shut up now. So thanks for watching, everybody, and thank you Turn 14 Distribution for making this all possible. Thank you, yes. This yes. was truly a, a joy and a dream, dream come true for both of us, I think, to get out to the track and play in these two legendary cars. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we did, and uh, we will see you back on YouTube very soon with more JD Legends. Legends. And, more then, and then some surprise. Hondas, surprise. and then some Hondas. Post-track update here, guys. Look at this, you can see um, this, in fact, is the AC belt that I think was squealing, which would mean the AC is constantly on, which was probably why it was not loving that uh, 8,000 RPM life. And it would make sense that it was the thing that was starting to squeal and probably causing all of the issues. So not a power steering issue. You can see the chunks of belt right here. Um, and it did flick some off over onto the, the piping over there. I don't know if you guys will be able to make it out. There it is. So that to me means a, a definite, definite issue with the AC staying on. For what reason? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm sure I can uh, figure it out. Hopefully it's just a setting in the ECU.